Microphone techniques. The way I approach a microphone in a given session is relative to what I am doing in the session. If I'm trying to bring out the low bass qualities in my voice, I will get really close. Three to four inches is the most effective distance for my full bass sound. If I want to speak louder, I will stand farther back, maybe seven to nine inches, so I won't overload or distort the microphone. Never feel compelled to shout when you want to project. The microphone is there to make you louder, so you don't have to help the process. The microphone should be an extension of you. Your mindset should be, I have my diaphragm, vocal cords, mouth, tongue, lips, voice, and a microphone. Now, I am ready to perform. When you are one in accord with the microphone, you eliminate the fear of it. The pressure is off. You can relax. I think every voiceover actor has a comfort zone in front of the mic, a place where he tends to stand in reference to the mic most of the time. Now, I like to turn my head to the right and work off the right side of the microphone. By working off mic, I lessen my chances of popping, which occurs when you blow a burst of air into the mic. The sudden burst causes a sound that generally happens when you use plosive words that begin with T, B, or P. Now, some engineers will put a stocking device in front of the mic to protect it from plosives. I find this device to be very distracting, which is why I developed my off-mic technique. You see, I believe the more technique that I can provide, the less manipulation and enhancement the engineer has to put on my voice. Trust your instrument.